Hi, Houdinki family. My name is uh, Alan Cole. I'm an architect and interior designer living right outside of Jerusalem, Israel, for the past 25 years. I grew up in New York. My parents were from Romania. Uh, they were survivors of the Holocaust, and uh, thereafter they survived uh, communist Bucharest, and then finally they emigrated to the States in 1963. I've been collecting watches for the past eight years or so, and the watch I'd like to share with you today is uh, my dad's um, early 1950s IWC Schaffhausen stainless steel case, rose gold indices, hands and numerals, 36 millimeters, uh, precursor to today's uh, Portofino, uh, and it houses obviously the most famous workhorse caliber 89 movement. Um, I commemorated 10 years of my dad's passing uh, about a month ago and began reflecting on his thought-provoking life and the challenges we are all facing worldwide during these surreal times. Survivors of the Holocaust, I think, fall into only two categories, those that speak about their tragedies and triumphs and those that do not. Um, my dad was one of the latter. Uh, he never told me or even my mom about his story of how he survived the war uh, nor anything about his extended family. The only text I did get about his life was about this watch. He uh, basically would look at it, reflect, and come up with one sentence that revealed something. And that was, this was the only thing that I came with when I came to America. I've inherited this uh, meaningful object of memory, and I'm still inspired by the presence of the watch and what it meant to him as I hear his uh, echoed of an accented voice uh, of a successful self-made man, which inspired many with so few words. Um, I still always wonder, you know, where he bought it or bartered for it or even accepted it as payment or maybe he even knew the history of IWC and its connection to America. And maybe he searched the brand out as a stepping stone or a door opener for his new homeland. Um, maybe he basically was so proud of it because he never believed he'd be able to keep it all his life, um, never having to sell it or hawk it, or it was a way that he maybe patted himself on the back and created some kind of uh, aura of of success through his struggle. Um, and I still look at it, and I always wonder that if it could tell its story, I would love to hear the uh, the possibility of how it was traveled and how it was smuggled out of Europe and my dad spoke of six languages, but he only referred to this watch as his Schaffhausen. Um, basically, for him, it was a one uh, watch collection filled with memory, which I was never able to share and was only able to speculate about it. And I think also the simplicity of its design influenced me as, as a designer. Um, he rarely took the watch off. I've never seen it not working. And growing up, it was a constant. It was a symbol of his signature, of my dad's being. And now it remains a deep, fond memory that um, I'm sure many of our Hodinki family uh, have of uh, different timepieces of their passed on loved ones. Um, I rarely wear it, but I do um, look at it often and get inspired um, and specifically get strength. Um, to overcome, to overcome my own challenges. And fittingly, I thought I would share this with you uh, as we all need a little extra vigor and strength to move ahead during these challenging times. Um, thank you for listening and wishing you all strength and peace.